Hey, this is Donnie Troy, president of OneQuest Payment and your friend in merchant services. A few days ago, I made a video titled Why EMV Debit Cards Could Increase Your Monthly Fees Big Time. And a few days later, I had a merchant reach out to me and it's it's exact scenario that I was explaining in that video. So I wanted to share this with you. Um, by the way, this is a this is a 145 location business uh, in Orlando, Florida, and throughout Florida. So we're extremely excited to help these guys out, and you know we're happy to say that we really can help them. So they do a lot of pin debit transactions, and they have not upgraded to an EMV reader yet. You know they don't take the chip cards. So right now they're swiping the card, they're asking the customer debit or credit. And the majority of the cards are debit, which is great for them. Um, however, when they now when they upgrade to an EMV machine, if they keep their their exact same pricing structure, their fees are going to go through the roof. I'm going to explain right now. So this is the month of June. They did roughly nineteen thousand dollars in pin debit, you know, debit ATM transactions. Now, that's their total volume right there. So roughly fifty percent of their transactions were pin debit. And when we looked at July statement, they did roughly 70% of their transactions were pin debit. So their their business model, you know, taking a lot of pin debit allows them to have a nice array. However, because they're not set up with good credit rates, their first rate is 1.75% and their highest rate is 3.75%. So basically, as I explained in the previous video, when you take a chip card debit it's going to run through as signature debit which essentially is a credit card now as a processor we see that it's a check card debit ATM card and the rate on that as a credit card is only 0.05 percent plus 21 cents however this this business is set up for their first rate to be 1.75 percent so let's say they take a chip card debit Okay, it runs through a signature debit. This processor right now is going to charge them 1.75%. They're going to qualify that transaction as a credit card, which their best rate is 1.75%. So as you can see, they're going to have a huge increase. Now I break it down right here, and this is just an example. You know, we did a very in-depth analysis, and then I made this chart just to show the business owner. So in June. There's their volume for pin debit. They, that's what they paid in fees in June, one hundred and fifty-six dollars and ninety-eight cents. That's great pricing. Okay. Now, let's say they upgrade to an EMV machine, and one hundred percent of these debit cards have the chip in them. Now, that's not the case. You know, they're saying roughly forty percent of debit cards in the U.S. will have the chip in them by October. In the Orlando area, you know. That's skewed. It's going to be much higher than 40% because we're dealing with bigger banks here, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, SunTrust regions, you know, and other spots in the country. There's a lot of there's a lot more local smaller banks, uh, smaller populations, and those banks are a little slow to be issuing the chip cards. So it's going to be more than 40%. But for this example, let's say 100% of these debit cards have the chip in them. With their current rate structure, they're going to pay $358 in fees compared to the 156. Now, with us, if 100% were EMV chip cards for their debit, they're going to pay $136.25, so even lower than their current fees as pinning all their transactions. Now, we're going to set them up with a pin pad, um, and as I said, we're cutting their, their pin transaction fee in half. So either way, they're going to save money with us. However, where the future's going is the, the debit cards are going to have chips in them. And, so we broke down July, very similar. You know, they did seventeen thousand dollars. They paid one hundred forty-five dollars by pinning all these transactions. Okay, if one hundred percent have the chip in them and they switch to EMV equipment, their fees are going to go up to three twenty-five off of the same volume. And if they switch to us with a better rate structure, they're going to pay one hundred twenty-two dollars and eighty-six cents. So I hope this makes sense. Reach out to us with any questions. We're here to help. Have a great day.